Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do RBI circular quiz for the month of March and April. Go through the uh, course videos in the financial awareness section which we have March and April month ke RBI circulars. Kare hai. This is a really amazing way to cover the circulars. Quiz format mein circulars jab aap cover karte ho, within 10 minutes, not even in 10 minutes, 7 8 minutes, aapke sare circulars cover ho jate hai, right? So let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching for various banking exams, uh, scale to scale three level exams. And until now I have taught 30,000 plus students on my platform. So I write my blog on bankexamstudy.com. A lot of free study material is available on bankexamstudy.com. And I hope you have subscribed to my YouTube channel till now. If you have not done that, subscribe to the channel. Okay. And IBPS RRB scale to scale three course we have already launched and we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes and test series. Link to join the course is available in the description. Please check. So students question number one, very important question. Important update, the maximum amount that a resident individual can remit under LRS per financial uh, year, uh, liberalized remittance scheme can under for any permissible current or capital account transaction or combination of both LRS scheme ke under how much uh, maximum amount that a resident can remit per financial year Ek limit hai maximum what is that limit in a year for current or capital account transactions 2,50,000 US dollars so this is the limit Itne tak you can do the transaction per year this is the limit Okay, this is the liberalized remittance scheme ke under this is the maximum limit. It any up transaction kar sakte ho, no issues. Okay. Uh, which of the following? Let me just hide myself for a moment. Uh, see students, uh, before this particular circular, ye circular bhi recently aaya hai, which of the following statement is true about remittance uh, schemes to IFSCs under LRS, right? So students, resident individuals uh, funds idle in their FCA, foreign currency account, foreign currency accounts jo the IFSC mein, if they remain idle for 15 days, 15 dino tak us paise ka agar kuch nahi hota hai, then that money sent back to the, uh, the original account, jahan se paise aaye the, 15 dino tak agar use nahi hota hai, to wo aapis bhejiye jate the, okay, but now aisa kuch nahi hai, okay, ab aisa kuch hai nahi hai, right, uh, now, uh, जो पैसे हैं वो 15 दिन के बाद भी रखे जा सकते हैं, ठीक है? No issues. Resident individuals can keep the funds lying idle in their FCA in the IFSC for more than 15 days without repatriating them to India. Okay? So 15 दिन से ज़्यादा भी रखे जा सकते हैं foreign currency account में. Okay? कोई issue नहीं है. C is the correct answer. Let's move forward. Which of the following statement is true about the general credit card facility? So general credit card facility, uh, the scheme provides working capital facility. So here this scheme provides working capital facility for non-farm entrepreneurial activities that are eligible for priority sector. So working capital ki requirement ke liye micro or small industries ke liye, small uh, companies ke liye, industries ke liye छोटे छोटे जो entrepreneurs हैं to provide them working capital general credit card की facility provide कर रहे हैं various banks up to 10 lakh rupees 10 lakh rupees up to rupees 10 lakhs no collateral no collateral no बिना collateral के up to 10 lakh rupees non farm in entrepreneurial activities for micro and small uh, industry right and her ek bank ki apni conditions hongi apne products honge right so this is a scheme that provides working capital facilities for non farm entrepreneurial activities that are eligible for priority sector classification okay so isko yaad rakhe general credit card facility how many tiers of ucbs urban uh, cooperative banks are there in the revised regulatory framework of rbi four categories are there four categories are there okay so there are four tiers and the tiers are based upon their deposit size So already mai uh, jo hai aap dhyan se padhiye uh, jo rb circulars ke videos hain usme we have done the this thing deposit size ke according how it is uh, categorized so detail mein humne karaya hua hai 
What is the rate of provisioning for standard assets in the commercial real estate residential housing sector? Commercial real estate residential housing sector. So what is the rate of provisioning for standard asset? It is 0.75%. It is 0.75%. The rate of provisioning for standard assets in the commercial real estate residential housing sector it is 0.75%. This is stated in the uh, in the table in the fourth paragraph in the uh, circular ke fourth paragraph mein tha. so 0.75% is the answer okay. So this is lower than the rate for commercial real estate sector which is 1% but higher than direct advances to agriculture and SME sector which is 0.25%. Itna reserve rakhna that's what you are supposed to remember commercial real estate residential housing sector 0.75% commercial real estate 1% itna what provisioning rakhna padega okay. By when do tier 1 urban cooperative banks have to achieve provisioning requirement of 0.4% ye provisioning jo last slide mein bataya tha by which date they need to you know uh, cover that kab tak ye uh, rakhni padegi inko jo uh, provisioning requirement hai kab tak puri karni padegi by 31st of march 2025 they need to cover that okay so which of the following is not eligible for uh, for green activity on a project under RBA framework for green deposits. Okay, so green deposit very important circular by RBI. Which projects green uh, activities may include? Nahi hote. Nuclear power generation is not included. Nu nuclear power generation is not including. According to framework projects including new or exist existing extraction, production and distribution of fossil fuels fossil fuels uh, and then fossil fuels nuclear power gen uh, power generation direct waste incarnation landfill projects hydropower plants larger than 25 megawatts in these projects yes are projects cover nahi these projects are not covered under the green activities these are not covered in the green activities okay the minimum denomination for green deposits under rbi framework for green deposit is 50,000 rupee then in the denomination of 50,000 okay minimum denomination is 50,000 and then further uh, in the multiples of 50,000 which of the following entities are eligible to accept green deposits under RBA framework for green deposits. So all scheduled commercial banks including small finance banks all deposit taking NBFCs registered with RBI including HFCs are uh, eligible to accept deposits for green deposits okay what is the name of the declaration form for foreign exchange transactions under liberalized remittance scheme of FEMA 1999 okay. foreign exchange transactions hai under LRS under liberalized remittance scheme of FEMA what is the name of the form uh, for this declaration the form name is A2 form A2 is the name of the form that is that needs to be filled and this is from March 2023 very important what is the deadline for urban cooperative banks to comply with the minimum net worth requirement of 2 or 5 crore according to the the tier of the urban cooperative bank there are four tiers according to the tiers so what is the deadline to comply with the minimum net worth requirement by 31st of March 2028 uh, the urban cooperative banks they need to uh, fulfill this requirement of net worth by uh, 31st of March 2028. So that was a pretty short session within nine minutes. We covered the RBA circular quiz. So in depth, we have done a proper video in the course that would be available in the financial awareness section of IBBS RRB scale two and scale three course. Um, we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, power capsules, live sessions and interview preparation guidance. And if there is any doubt in your mind, this is our WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. Our mobile app is available on iOS and Android platform and we have proper desktop and laptop dashboards available on bankexamstudy.com. All the links are available in the description. Please check the description and if there is any doubt in your mind, always ask your doubts. List of our successful students in the Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer course 2023 in 2022. IBPS RRB scale to 2022 2021 PNBS so credit officer 2021 Bank of Maharashtra journalist officer 2020 IBPS RRB scale to scale 3 2020 IBPS RRB scale to scale 3 2019 Bank of India credit officer 2020
विजय बैंक क्रेडिट ऑफिसर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन बैंक ऑफ इंडिया क्रेडिट ऑफिसर ट्वेंटी एटीन बैंक ऑफ बड़ोड़ा वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ऑल दी स्टूडेंट्स टू का कोर्सेज इन द पास्ट एंड द क्रैक द रिस्पेक्टिव एग्जाम्स आई एम रियली रियली हैप्पी फॉर दम If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts, and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today, students. Thank you, and bye bye.